Hey guys, welcome to a video. I'm actually reshooting this to make it concise. It's how to mount a Contax Yashica vintage lens onto a Micro Four Thirds mirrorless camera, GH5 Mark One in this case. And we're going to actually just do a reverse engineer here. So this is the lens up the front, and it will take the lens off. It's a beautiful Carl's Ice uh, 28 to 70 zoom. Quite a, a valuable vintage lens that. Now we have a Contax Yashica to Pentax K-mount adapter, believe it or not, so let's take that off. You might have noticed that popped off a bit funny, that's because being a Pixco they don't get their mounts done with the right tolerances, it doesn't screw on in all the way. Alright, now the lens actually fits like a charm, they got one half of it perfect okay so that bit there is brilliant and this guys is actually a speed booster I don't know if you can see the glass in there there's an optical element on that adapter and that's a Pentax K to Micro Four Thirds so as soon as I take that off you've just got the camera I'm not going to mess around because I don't want dust getting in there and there's a 0 0.72 multiplication factor so 100 mil if you have a 50 mil vintage, it sort of turns into 100 because it's on the micro four thirds, and you multiply it by 0 0.72, which brings it back to 72 mil. At least that's the maths how I do it. And that's it, guys. We'll put it back together here. Remember, this one doesn't scroll on properly, so it's sort of just wedged in there. Goes around about halfway, and the adapters add about three centimeters. This lens is amazing. It's 28 to 70. Uh, 3.5 to 4.5 and whether or not I'm getting a bit of artistic effect from these two adapters because this one here has an optical element in it not just the back one um, and that's because the flange distance between Pentax K and Contax Yashica I think they're like almost identical so when you use an adapter it gets off kilter so it has to like bring back the light circle to a smaller size um, to match the full frame and then we've got the speed burster to basically bring that full frame down somewhat onto our small sensor at the back there so that's the science guys that's the engineering and test tested this out today and I was just I'm not normally like impressed by bokeh and artistic effects but at 28 mil, wide open, just shooting in the garden and that, this, this lens was beautiful. Beautiful, uh, slight distortions around the edges. It's pretty sharp at f8 across the whole frame, um, at 50 mil or whatever, but I think when you go to that wide angle, I, again, I don't know if it's a lens or not. Well, normally these elements don't give any distortion. A, a Pentax lens straight on the speed booster is tack sharp across the, f the whole frame. It's, it's amazing. The optics of the Pixco are fantastic. It's just the way they do their mounts with the tolerances not being quite right some of the time. Anyway, anyway guys, that's it. It's a great solution. I don't know if they make a speed booster for Contax to actually come out. Um, and you, you don't want to use a simple adapter, always get a speed booster. People on YouTube are just talking about the simple adapters. You're, ba you're literally blowing up the image twice as, as big as it's meant to be when you do that. That loses contrast, loses sharpness. You want to use a speed booster to bring the light circle back down a little bit and get some of that image quality back and I find that the focal length being 2x is normally too much unless I really want to go super telephoto and I just like to bring it down to that 1.5x so always go for a focal reducing adapter about a hundred bucks about fifty bucks Australian for the little um, contacts to PK adapter lens is worth about 350 to 400 in good condition that's it guys, that's my contact, <laughs> concise, contacts, Yashica, Pentax, Micro Four Thirds setup. Thanks so much for watching.